projects we got going on today. We've got a, what the f is it called? <laughs> you already cussed. <laughs> what what you're called? not 30 seconds in. <laughs> hey guys, Vinyl Vixen and Slim Shetty here at Rat Set. What's up? Now I dance in the beginning. What you gonna say about that? Oh, Bobo. <laughs> Anyways, we are gonna show you guys what. <laughs> <laughs> this week we're gonna show you guys what we got going on in the shop today. We have a road bike, we are doing some decals and overlays on, and we have this Bentley Continental GT right here. We are gonna be doing this fender on here. It's a pretty complex fender because it's got the headlight areas that you gotta get into as well. Um, if you guys see on here, this is also a car that we are not removing the bumpers on. Um, I don't think it's necessary for a few reasons. And also, we were still able to get all the plastics and stuff out of here, which is the most important part for us. So we are gonna wrap that bumper on. But today we're gonna show you guys how we pull this fender. Um, we are using Avery SW900 Satin Black. Um, and just a side note, this car was wrapped previously. They actually wrapped the door jams and stuff like that. So we had to take off everything that they took off to clean up the wrap and you know all that kind of stuff. So, without further ado, can we pull this fender? So we are going to full pull this fender because we have two people here and it is easier and it teamwork makes that dream work. Also, if you, it's always better to have teamwork because when you're pulling fenders like this that are a lot more difficult, it's better to full pull it because. That way you don't. Stretch. That way you get a slight free stretch, which helps you go around this way, and it also prevents work lines because I you can. Hate work lines. Work lines are it's terrible. Passion, and it's very obvious in satin black. Very, so very if you were to have to like pull this halfway, work it up, and then you're working, then you're working it, you're working it. You're around by yourself, yep. you're gonna run into a lot of those. Uh, and it it is possible. Problems. It's possible to do with one oh, you can with one person yourself, but is it 10 times easier and cleaner to just have another set of hands if you have the set of hands Probably use them so yeah for sure so we'll kind of show you them. what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull this hold on pull this away so you can talk all right so what we're gonna do is we have this tape mark here she's gonna hold it over here line it up with this tape mark and what I'm gonna do is pretty much stretch it pre-stretch it and then I'm going to lay it down and over this fender. So right. that way it's already stretched going over this fender. And what angle? We're gonna hit this angle right here like We're gonna this. hit this right here, this so we're body not line. we're not it straight on. Well, we're over not here we are. The top. So it's kind of a twisted Slightly. fender. Slightly. So like you're pulling it this way while I'm pulling it straight over exactly. there. Exactly. So this one, it, it's a little bit funky and that's why we want to show it the to hood, you. The hood gets in the way a little bit and so we'll kind of show you how to get away from that. You kind of use your hand to tuck that in there while we're pulling it. And, um, but yeah, so let's get, uh, get going on. And then we on. have knifeless tape deep in here on the seam line. We do have knifeless tape in here, so we don't, we're don't we not the cutting on the car. The rest going to trim out. Everything else you can trim by hand. Solid? Yep. Okay. So you get over there. I am going to hit this with just a tiny bit of heat just to clean up the wrinkles from the paper. I'm not like heating the crap out of this to stretch it. We don't really well, need to do that so much. We are slightly pre-stretching it, but you really don't need to do it so much with heat. It's just gonna clean up all these little wrinkles on here. Most of the wrinkles will come out because it is actually in the paper, but if you have a really bad like crease, you definitely want to heat that out first. Definitely. But you see, if you see it on the back, you should heat it. All right, let me just touch it. Make sure this is folded over this way so it doesn't stick on itself there. And when you're pulling this stuff, you always want to keep nice tension on it. You don't ever want to just let it get really wrinkly everywhere because then you have, then it, then it makes marks everywhere. All right, I'm So make up. sure you're high enough. I'm good. Okay, now you, now you can tack. Tack right there. Now tack it and then walk over to me and you're gonna help me pull this. Doesn't even wanna stick to satin. <laughs> okay, now work it under that hood and then we're gonna pull it and you're gonna help me pull. Look at this line. Up and out. Okay. Now help me pull it out. So she's gonna stretch that way Just while slightly. I stretch you clean this. this way. And you always wanna make sure your edges are clean because the 
the more they're wrinkled, the more problems you're gonna have. So now that we have that nice and stretched out, we'll kind of correct all of these wrinkles here because you don't want these to sit. Don't let wrinkles sit. No. Fix them right away. If you let them sit, they will create lines and marks and they will not go away. Right down here. So these right here, you definitely want to get rid of those right away. Same with Same this. Same for tarping. If you're tarping something over a stretched area, like over a handle or something like that, and you let the vinyl sit like that for too long, you're, get, you're still gonna get those work lines. So if you've got anything tarped or anything wrinkled, you wanna hit that thing first. Clean so, it up and then you're good. So pretty much what you can see is we, we've pretty much wrapped this whole thing without even- We haven't even put a squeegee down Throwing a squeegee it. on it yet. And, and that's, that's just from properly pulling. And that's what you're wanting to do. Don't fight the material. Make it do what you want it to do. Yeah, pull this right here. You want to hit these lines first. Hit the body lines. And then I'm going to hit this recess. I'm going to work this spot here. Pro Wrap from Yellow Tools, one of my favorites, with the Odessa sleeve. Super soft, especially for satins. It's really easy to damage satin and install. It's very easy to scratch it. Also, a wrap glove is awesome for any kind of. About anything. Well, you're you're working on these, you know, crazy convex curves here. It's easy. It's better to just throw a palm into it rather than your squeegee. Cause right, because you're going to get those work lines, especially exactly. if you're installing in an in an area that's slightly warm for your temperature of vinyl. Like right now in here in Arizona, it's still kind of summertime. It's, it's kind of warm. So it's really easy to get those stretch lines in, in the work lines. Now, when you're using a wrap glove, it is not a squeegee. So after you use your wrap glove, you definitely want to go back over it with a squeegee because you might have missed a bubble or something because your hand is not a complete flat surface. So you always want to make sure you go back and... You're just hitting it initially with Initially, the yeah. And then you always want to go back with a squeegee and make sure you get all those, you know, bubbles that you may have missed. So keep in mind right now, the material is stressed, technically speaking. We did kind of pull on it. So now that we're like down to all the edges, we're just going to lift up the edges and heat it. And that's going to um, release the pressure basically on the vinyl. And then at that point, then we work everything back down to the edges and trim it all out. So I'm gonna let Michael take over all this. I'm gonna go finish that bike. On the run from my given disaster. Speed away from the holy mind. Pride. I swear I never thought it would matter. If I'm gone by now, all my weakness keep on leaving. Okay, so Michael just finished trimming everything out on this Bentley Continental uh, fender. Um, the way we finish everything off is uh, first we lamb strip or do pins um, on any areas that are stressed. So ideally somewhere like in here where we went down pretty deep, but two or three inches in. So I would recommend doing a small satin lamb strip there. Um, we hit all the edges with a heat gun nice and well, get it really well post heated. And then we're gonna hit the whole surface area with a um, IR heater. Can I see your squeegees real quick? Um, some of our 
Favorite tools for this install? Obviously a wrap glove. Wrap glove. So shrunk. <laughs> um, and then these are two of my favorite squeegees from Yellow Tools. We have the, I think this is the Pro Wrap Betty. The Betty. Um, this is really good to hit these areas right here. Um, and then this is a Pro Wrap squeegee from Yellow Tools with a Odessa um, sleeve. Really nice and smooth. Um, and then I always like 30 degree blades, so Ulfa or Excel, they're super great. Can kind of get into harder angles. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching our episode this week. Make sure to follow our social media. That is Vinyl Vixen Raps and Rap Sesh AZ. Facebook and Instagram is where we're popping. Um, Stay tuned, you guys should subscribe below if you haven't already. We've got really exciting things coming. We're getting ready for SEMA, we've got some builds, we've got some, some really cool stuff in the works that's super secret. Um, so stay tuned on that. Um, yeah. Yeah, and uh, we'll see you next week.